Hello, everybody. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank Ideal Protein for giving us a chance to share our results with this program. Uh, the idea here today is just to go over our journey as we started and developed an Ideal pro pro Protein program, let you know uh, how we got started and how it developed and some of the preliminary or the first year results that we have. So my name is Tim Logeman. I'm a medical director inside Aspirus Clinics up here in uh, Wausau, Wisconsin, a little bit about our system. We're a five hospital, uh, three to 400 primary care physician, or three to 400 physician system, mainly primary care, but also some affiliated specialists. We cover a couple hundred mile area up here in, in the northern and central Wisconsin. We started with ITL Protein actually in the spring of 2012. I met Tim Callahan, one of the national sales representatives at a Medaxium meeting and he provided me with some relatively compelling information that we ought to add this to our heart program to try to address some of the uh, unaddressed issues with diet, weight loss that we needed. And of course, as a, being a great salesman, he convinced me that I absolutely needed to lose some weight. I discussed this program with my partners and our nurse manager to try to get some buy-in. I think the two breakthroughs came when we had our nurse manager call other programs and get great reviews. There was certainly some skepticism about cardiologists going into the diet business, trying to decide if that really was our mission or not. When we realized all our patients that are struggling with obesity and all the medications that that leads to and the unaddressed risk factors, we really did accept that as part of our mission and especially when we were able to talk to other, prote other ideal protein programs and hear about the great results they were getting really got some momentum. We also had a scientific presentation on the diet by Dr. Rothrock, which is now available online. And it really made sense to us the way the diet is developed, so we got a lot of momentum to get started. We got uh, my partners and the uh, system leadership and the staff to agree to a pilot trial to see if we would like that. We offered uh, it to our employees and their family members at 5% above cost, so there was very little cost initially to the people that b volunteered to give this a try. We decided we'd track our report results and report back to our leadership and management and our other physicians to decide whether or not we would move forward. We were hoping to get 15 participants. Uh, when you offer weight loss products, the de uh, because of the need, the demand is substantial and we got 59 volunteers. And very early on, we realized that we were gonna get very reliable, predictable, reproducible results in a relatively easy to follow program. So we were very excited, even in the first couple of weeks of the pilot. I just want to share some of the data that we got out of the pilot with you. This is patient number one, which actually happens to be me. So this is my blood pressure before and after about 12 weeks on the diet. This is my cholesterol before and after the diet, HDL, LDL, non-HDL, triglycerides. My blood sugar stayed about the same. Hemoglobin A1C stayed about the same. And actually, even though this is one individual, this is relatively common. This is really what we see for most individuals that are on the diet. Nice response in blood pressure, kind of a mixed response in, in LDL, tremendous response in triglycerides. And blood sugars usually uh, come down a little bit more than this, but this is relatively common results. This is uh, from all of our pilot. We, not everybody uh, got uh, pre and post labs. We did have a, a substantial decrease in BMI. We had, this is in all 58 participants. We had a substantial decrease in blood pressure. And of the 20 people that had pre and post labs, again, you'll see nice drop in cholesterol, HDL, LDL, but again, this very nice drop in, in triglycerides as well. So based on the, on the results of the pilot data, the clinical results, the patient satisfaction, and the fact that we really felt we were uh, addressing and improving some risk factors, we elected to go ahead and offer this full time. In January of 2013, just a little over a year ago, we hired a full time coordinator and coach. We had two part time coaches that were on our staff uh, who just added this to their responsibility. They were already full time employees with multiple other responsibilities inside. We then uh, started by hiring a full time coach, coordinator, or manager. Uh, in April, we already had enough volume that we needed to add another part time coach. In July, about nine months ago, we added our first satellite, which is a town about 60 miles from here where we have uh, full-time cardiology or five-day-a-week cardiology pre uh, presence. In August, we had to add another full-time coach. We've had to add some infrastructure, including a scheduler and inventory manager. And in November, we, uh, the demand was such that we had to add another full-time coach. So from our 59 pilot patients where we were at just a little bit over a year ago, 
We're now averaging about 340 patients a week, so we've had about a uh, 500 or 600% growth. We have three workshops every month where we do intakes. Uh, in March of this year, we took in 60 new participants. Uh, as we continue to expand, we're looking to open more satellites and grow. We're looking to market this program to employers and payers. So far, we have not advertised at all. There is no advertising budget at all inside this program. It's all been word of mouth uh, growth. We've had a total of 600 participants. We've lost over 10,000 pounds. Uh, it's very reproducible in that women lose two to three pounds per week, men lose four to five pounds per week, and people can calculate ahead of time how long they're going to be on the diet as long as they follow it. If a guy needs to lose 40 pounds, he's going to be on the diet about 10 weeks. A woman needs to lose 30 pounds, she's going to be on the diet about 10 weeks. It's a very reproducible result. We've had uh, treated a lot of the senior leaders inside of our system and the board members. We've lost a total of 262 pounds there. We have had some people re-enter the program, usually for a short period of time, two to three weeks, for what we call a tune-up for some uh, minor weight gain. Our dropout rate is about 16%. This is a very high-level fiscal analysis. In fiscal year 2013, which for us uh, runs from July to July, uh, so that finished last year, you can see that we were in a loss in the startup mode. A lot of those pilot patients were at 5% above our cost, so there really was no ability to, to cover our cost with the pilot. We do offer a 30% discount to our employees as well because we figure we're making that up on the healthcare uh, side. In the other words, we get to save money on their medications, so we offer 30% discount to uh, anybody who's on our healthcare plan. And through fiscal year 14, whoops, which is uh, July, to now, we've had a total revenue of about $600,000, expenses including food and labor. So we do have a, in a positive situation here in just the beginning of the second year of $100,000. In March, our gross revenues were $100,000, so we're looking for, again, a, a better cost margin as we go forward. The program is more profitable as we expand because you add patients to an infrastructure that you have to keep with inventory. And again, and we had 63 new patients in March and 900 recheck appointments, up 22% from February. So tremendous growth in this program. As our current FTEs, we have 3.3 coaches. We have an administrative assistant who does scheduling, prepares the food. We have uh, a registered nurse who screens the patients as they come into the program, helps me monitor the medications so that we can stop the uh, diuretics, which we stop very early in patients who are on diuretics. The uh, antihypertensives usually have to be tapered off, and the oral hypoglycemics usually have to be tapered off. And so this nurse works with me to screen the patients, make sure they're appropriate to be in the study, and then follow them along as we go and manage the medications. Insulin, we usually leave to the endocrinologist, to the primary care physician, but most insulin is going to be stopped during the program as well. One of our coaches is also a player coach you know, or manager, so 0.5 there, health information, so 5.7 FTEs right now for the 340 patients that we're managing. We pro our staffing needs, we project about 90 patients per coach. So in February, we're up to three, a uh, little bit over three coaches plus the infrastructure. Some of the things that we've learned in developing this is that there are many skeptics as you go into uh, the weight loss business. People wonder about whether that should be the mission or should that be left up to the dietitians. Some of the dietitians wonder about a uh, low carb diet. So there can be a lot of skeptics in the beginning. I think it's very important to start with a pilot trial if, there, if you have any concerns so that people can see the benefit for themselves. You do need support of your partners, your administration, and the staff inside your office. This can be challenging, the amount of volume of patients coming through and the inventory that you have to manage uh, can be challenging for your infrastructure. So everybody needs to be on board. You need the support of all people. Again, the pilot was very beneficial in getting momentum to get it moved forward. And I do think it's helpful to have a system to manage the patients and their medications. Uh, referring them back to the primary care physician can be done as well. Uh, it's probably not as efficient as having a system inside the diet where you can uh, taper medicines as they need to be tapered. 20% of patients will need changes in their medications. That's because not all these patients, of course, were on medications to begin with. A lot of these patients are not cardiology patients. They're referrals from the community, friends, family members who may not have any other health problems other than being overweight. 
And it's interesting, the overweight population will be very varied. We have people that need to lose 20 to 30 pounds, and we have people that need to lose 150 pounds. So obviously the health needs of those people are going to be substantially different. Some people are trying to get ready for their high school reunion or a wedding, and other people have severe problems from their obesity, joint problems, diabetes, hypertension, sleep apnea. So you get a very wide range of patients inside a program like this. It's important to manage your relationship with administration, the dietitians in your system in primary care as best as you can. It's important to update administration in primary care often to let them know how you're doing so that they, any questions that they can ha have might be answered. And it's, of course, really important if you can get them into the program. Uh, certainly in, in any major size system, there's going to be people inside your institution that are probably struggling with weight or weight loss. So if you can get some primary care physicians, if you can get some of your administration into the program and get them to see the results, they really will buy into the benefit of the program. This is a different care model than what we're used to in healthcare uh, office visits and seeing that this is a cash or retail or inventory model. We do have a large of inventory coming in twice a week that we have to manage. We have to have packages ready for the patients to take home with them every week when they come in. So it does require some different thinking about how you're going to do it. The growth potential is tremendous. This is a fun thing to do. People love you when you help them lose weight. Um, everybody knows they need to lose weight. Everybody's trying to lose weight. And when you can actually provide a solution that works for them, they will come and seek you out and they will thank you. Uh, in our town, it's uh, been called, referred to as a Logaman diet occasionally. I've gotten four hugs out of the diet so far. I never did get a hug for a rotablator atherectomy or stent or an acute infarct intervention, but helping people lose weight. Uh, they're stopping you in the hall, they're thanking you, they're giving you hugs. It's a lot of fun to bring something like this in. There is some unexpected benefits that we think in this low carb diet. Uh, we think the high carb diet is probably pro-inflammatory. This is, lowers the inflammatory markers, so we've seen substantial improvements in asthma. I've come off all my asthma inhalers. We see substantial improvements in gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, one of our patients was on 17 medications and he was able to discontinue five and reduce three. Weight regain is always the question. Are people going to regain their weight? And of course, no diet is a vaccine from weight regain. Weight loss and weight maintenance are two different processes and you have to think of them differently. Maintenance is more difficult than loss. Well, weight loss is a short-term process. People can buy into that. Weight maintenance is a chronic lifetime skill that we need to teach. We have seen some weight regain, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. We are working hard to prevent it. We do see patients after they're off the weight loss phase on a routine basis for up to six months to try to help them through that. The diet is not a one-time tool. Oftentimes, people will need to go back on the diet for two to three weeks for a tune-up, we call it. We usually try to set a target weight. If people gain 10 to 20 pounds, we ask them to come back and get retreated. This is, this is, the nice thing about this diet is that it is not a one-trick pony or a one-time use like it is with bariatric surgery. Weight gain, of course, is a natural process. 60% of our population is struggling with it. It is how we are wired in some way as humans, and so this is going to always be an issue, but we do think that we have ability to deal with it. We did a survey on our patients after, they've, after a, about a year of offering this program. About 33% of our patients, this is a, a survey where our patients returned the information. We had about 60 responses to our sur survey. 33% kept off 100%. This is at about the three to four month mark. 44% kept off 90%. So 75% of our patients, at least at the three to four month mark, have kept off most of their weight. 87% of the patients would recommend this program to families and friends, which I think is also a very important uh, statistic. Of course, even bariatric surgery has weight gain problems. 70% uh, of excess body weight is usually the loss at 18 months, but you see at five years, people are down to 60%, and at 10 years, down to 50% excess body weight. So even surgical scars are not immune to the problem of weight regain, and I think anybody that's been in this area or been working in healthcare for 10 to 15 years has seen a lot of bariatric surgery patients come back with weight regain, and actually we act treat a lot of bariatric surgery patients that have had this problem and then we've been able to put them in the diet and be successful and have them lose weight as well. The nice thing about this program is that it is consistent with population health initiatives. We're stopping all kinds of medications. We're getting people moving. We're getting people feel better. It addresses some of the underlying causes of cardiovascular disease as opposed to just getting them a medicine for the problem. We're actually addressing the under 
underlying problem. Of course, it supports the triple aim of decreased cost, improve outcomes, and improve patient experience. Our biggest challenge so far has been to keep the infrastructure up to pace with the growth or the demand for program. Right now, we have about a six-week waiting list to get people into the program because of the demand here in the new year. I'd like to show some of our success stories. This, of course, is my favorite one. This is the father of one of our staff members. At this point in time, he cares quite freely and openly that he was and his family were just waiting for him to die. He was up to about 400 pounds. He went on the program, was one of our pilot patients. It took him a little over a year. He lost 150 pounds. I love this shirt. I love this slide because it shows him here and here and how he looks now. He was down to 400 to down about uh, two, uh, uh, to the low 200s. He uh, just finished his first 5K walk. He couldn't walk to get the mail before. This has been a life, this, he's working on his farm, he's outside, he's looking forward to life, his family, and he are so happy, his life is so full now compared to when he was over here before the diet. And I like this slide as well, it shows people working. I always like it when we get to see a chance to see people working. Another one of our success stories, another 100 pound weight loss, and you can just see, I think, the confidence in a guy when he loses weight, he's at his bank, he's, he's managing, he's going to meetings, and I, obviously it's making a huge difference in his life as well as how he presents himself. 98% uh, of our uh, 98 participants were on medications. Uh, we, we, on those 98 participants, 120 of their seven of their medications were either reduced or stopped. Most, we stopped uh, most diuretics within the first week or two because the diet is so low carb that the insulin levels come down and people have a tremendous weight loss. It's not uncommon for some of our larger patients to lose 10 to 15 pounds in the first week. Most of that is a, is a diuretic effect from the insulin dropping and them having this tremendous diuresis. Uh, one of our ER docs just lost 15 pounds the first week. Uh, most of the medications after the diuretics then are going to be the antihypertensives and of course the oral hypoglycemics. We have not had a lot of type 2s on insulin, but most of those are either going to stop or come off their insulin completely as well. So we're seeing tremendous amounts of medications being stopped. So overall, it's been a great program for us. We've really enjoyed the experience. We're seeing people happy, we're giving them their life back so that they can get back out and be active and enjoy life. They're coming off medications. It's been fiscally reasonable for us as well and we really encourage you, uh, people to give it a chance and give it a thought and consider participating. This is my email address. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. I'll be glad to share any experience, questions, concerns that you might have out there. Once again, uh, give it a thought, give it a try, give it a pilot, get some experience and and see how it works for you in your, communi in your community. Thank you.